correct. Most of the liens, IRS liens don't get wiped out. Condo association liens typically don't get wiped out. Department of Revenue and possibly some town liens. I'd have to look at the Massachusetts, uh, the New Hampshire laws up here. But um, most other liens <coughs> do get wiped out at closing. So some survive, some don't. Um, it requires a release of the secondary mortgage lien. Does everybody know what a, uh, the release means? When we say, what is a re uh, deficiency release? Does everybody know what that phrase is? Deficiency is what's left over on the note. So we were talking about a note of 300,000, they got an offer of 275, let's say there's a $25,000 deficiency. New Hampshire is a recourse state. They can go after the balance. They can go after the $25,000 after closing. You can get an approval letter where they say, we retain our rights to pursue you for this $25,000 after closing. We always try to get an approval letter that releases the deficiency, releases that $25,000 so they can't chase the homeowner after closing. So the nice thing about the Freddie and Fannie program is Freddie's in first position, Fannie's in first position, they require the second mortgage to release any deficiency on the loan. So they're gonna give them $6,000. Let's say they owe $20,000 to a home equity line. They're gonna get 6,000 to be paid off. If that company, whatever, whoever has that home equity line accepts the $6,000, then they have to release the remaining balance on the note, the remaining uh, $20,000. So $14,000 they have to release. They can't come after the home owner after that. So that's actually kind of nice of Freddie and Fannie too to force a second lien's hand. Now, 